In Adobe Illustrator, you can get really creative with your type, even editing the individual letters to come up with a stylized version of your text. Next, you'll learn how to convert text to outlines so that you can reshape it with the direct selection tool. So you can follow along with the latest version of Illustrator CC open, open this practice file from the downloadable practice files for this tutorial. When you open the practice file, you'll most likely see this missing fonts dialog box since a Typekit font was used in the document. Access to the Adobe Typekit library is included with your Adobe Creative Cloud membership. To fix the missing fonts, click Sync Fonts to sync the Typekit font to your computer. When the font is synced, click Close. If for some reason you can't sync the font, you can click Close, select the text with the Type tool, and choose another font in the Properties panel. So that you can see all of the content out here, choose View, Fit Artboard and Window. The final text that you'll create is at the bottom of the artboard. You'll work with the text at the top of the artboard. With the selection tool selected, drag across all of the text at the top of the artboard to select it. This is text, which means you can change the font, font size, and other text formatting options. To edit the text as if it were paths, you need to convert the text to vector paths. To do that, choose Type, Create Outlines. The text is now composed of shapes that you can edit. Click away from the content and then click to select the UNO group of text shapes. To edit the O in those shapes, like you see in the final artwork down here, select the zoom tool in the tools panel on the left and drag across the shapes to zoom in a little. Then select the direct selection tool in the tools panel on the left. Drag across the entire top half of the O. Then move the pointer over one of the selected anchor points you see and drag up to align it with the top of the R. Select the selection tool and click the new more text to edit it. After outlining text, it becomes a group of shapes. To move the letters independently, not as a group, you'll ungroup them by choosing Object, Ungroup. Click in a blank area to deselect, then click to select the U and drag it straight down. Magenta Smart Guides will help you keep it aligned. Then drag the N over to the right above the U. And once again, the Smart Guides will tell you when it's aligned. Now you'll edit the letter M. Select the Direct Selection tool and drag across the bottom part of the M to select the anchor points down there. Move the pointer over one of the selected anchor points and drag down, aligning it with the bottom of the U. If you find yourself moving the entire letter M, you can choose Edit, Undo Move, reselect the anchor points, and make sure you're dragging by an anchor point. To see the final artwork, Choose Select, Deselect. There are a lot of ways to be creative with text in Illustrator, including reshaping letter forms. Now that you know how to create outlines from text and reshape it, you can create some really creative text for a logo or other design element. Choose File, Save As. To save a copy of this file, making sure to rename it so you don't overwrite the original practice file.